You're new here, yeah? That's right. Got a place you should check out then. There's this guy, a real fishing enthusiast, putting around in a skiff at the base of the mountain. He's near an Imperial camp. Mind seeing if he's all right? Yeah, no problem. Much appreciated. More priorite. Wonder what this will fetch at Doma's shop. Tantalor is real, and it may be the last corner of this galaxy that's safe from the Empire. I wish you could have seen it too, BD. I think we just found our ticket out of here. I bet we can clear that gate with a little boost from our new friend.
A sand crawler. You know what that means. Jawas can't be far off. Let's stop. Meet him at the landing pad. Okay, friend? Come on. Well, you got a mean look to you. I do? Yeah. Like well, you're not afraid of nothing. Maybe you can find out what all this fuss is about. There's a shack nestled way out near the caverns. Folks call it Key's Workshop. What's in the workshop? Misery. And maybe treasure, or so I hear. If you're in the area, could be worth a visit. Z, you're looking good as new. Indeed. That mechanical mixologist is a miracle worker. <laughs> I must know, did you locate the key to Tanalor? Uh, it's complicated. But we'll find it. Monk told me what transpired while I was asleep. To think the Jedi Order is no more, that must have been dreadful for you. We have both been through so much. But we must persevere, Cal. After all, what else is there to do? That's right. We've got room for one more? I shall remain here, but if you need my counsel, I will be at the saloon. I am very fortunate to have met you, Cal Kestis. found something out there. Oh yeah, what do you got, another holocron? Jedi, from the time of the High Republic, somehow preserved him back to Dagon Gera. I freed him. What happened? He attacked me, escaped with the Bedlam Raiders. He's who they've been looking for. Says the Jedi betrayed him and turned to the dark side. Why, are you okay, kid? Tantalor. It's real grease. It's hidden somewhere in the abyss. Oh, that's impossible! 
The abyss eats any ship that gets too close. The Republic found a way through hundreds of years ago. That's why they built that array in the forest. A hidden world that nobody has been able to reach for centuries. If you figured out how to cross the abyss, you could just disappear completely. No Bedlam Raiders, no bounty hunters, no Galactic Empire. I'm just spitballing here, but that does sound like a place that someone could call home. Yeah. Yeah, it could be a home. Get your feet down. Ah. All right, I'm going back to the cantina. You know, Grease, we could use a real pilot. I don't know. I mean, you're doing okay on your own. I mean, you could clean the Patoli weave every now and again. We don't know the Mantis like you do. Nobody does. Oh, Cal, I'm... I'm sorry. My best days are behind me. I, I can't even hold my card steady. I know things are different from how they used to be, but... I'm not sure I could do this without you. Is that really how you feel? It is. Well, I mean, I guess I could... Have Monk keep his eye on the saloon. Greasy money. <laughs> All right. <laughs> you in? I mean, there's not going to be much in the way of credits. Cal, this is better than any score. Imagine, no more looking over your shoulder. A safe place for us, for the ones we love. If anyone knows about a lost Jedi world, it's here. Jedi! Aha! It's about time you paid that lady a visit. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna make us some food before we go. So who's this seer we're going to see? A mentor of mine. Rescued me from the Empire on Baraka and dragged me halfway across the galaxy. Sounds like you two went through a lot together. We did. Been a long time since I've seen her. How's it feel to be back on the Mantis? Good. Thinking about whipping up some curried burra fish. Kitchen looks in better shape than the rest of the ship, kid. I definitely saw less action since you left. You're telling me? The spice levels haven't moved. Did you cook even one decent meal for yourself these last years? I'm not half the cook you are, Grease. And maybe only three quarters the pilot. Very kind, but the first chance we get, I'm making you a plate of Great Granny Pyloon's Umber Hatch. My favorite. Can't wait. Feel good to get back in the cockpit after so long. Fine. <laughs> Just getting used to things. Never been to Jeddah. We headed to the city? Nah, last I heard, Seer was holed up in the desert with some weird hermits called Anchorites. <laughs> I just wish he'd pick a more lively cult. We're getting a signal from Jeddah. That's Seer. I sent word ahead that we'd be visiting. Let me put it up on the hollow projector. Hey, Cal, check the hollow projector. We got a call from Jeddah. Okay. 
Hestus. It is an honor. Yeah. Hi. Is Seer there? We eagerly await your arrival. However, a dust storm is sweeping over our location. It is too dangerous for your ship to land. And how will I get to you? Master Junda has arranged for an escort who will guide you to us. Wait, she's sending someone else? I will transmit the rendezvous coordinates to your pilot. Okay, I got it. Disembark with caution. Imperial patrols have been seen in the high desert. Thanks for the warning. Well? Hey, you made the creeps. I wonder what kind of weirdo she's gonna send to meet you. And the Empire's there, too. Not the welcome I was hoping for. Let's go find Seer's escort. The rendezvous point is up ahead. Time to climb. Hang on, BD. <laughs> Gotta be careful. Check it out. 